Hi, this is Postmodium Podcast. This is Stephanie. This is Alexis. And we are joined today by Kevin Rosa. And yeah, this is another episode of Total Tunage. So we're going to be going down our top 10 faves uh, currently. And I think that we're going to start this one off with Kevin's list. So right. if you will. All right. So uh, number one, or number 10, I should say. Uh, are, are we? Is that good? Do it. Do it. All right. Do it. Yeah. I usually say 10 is like my like least favorite, I would say. Okay. Well, all at right. least we know that for you because all of my list, I don't know about you, Alexis, but mine's in a random order. Always. Mine too. Okay. Well, then know. shit. I didn't know. All right. <laughs> Listen, Kevin, you do you. No, no, no. Because I felt pressured. Right I felt. Now. Don't feel fucking pressured. All right. Well, then. I said the F-bomb. Sorry, everyone. I apologize. No I apologize for you. I do take that apology back. Right All right, now. I'm You're taking it. Do it from the heart. I'm taking it. Right there. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so I have China Shop by Saint Lucia. Uh, okay. I'm gonna check that out. It yeah. is. It's all like '80s synth pop kind of. I, I would love that. Yeah, it's you would love it's that. it's just yeah. it's upbeat and I love it. Uh, and it's a new, it's like newer to me at least. Is it new wave? It is, uh, kinda. Okay. I would say it borderlines. China shop. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I, I've tried to del- dive, delve into their albums a little bit more and I don't like much more than what's like on their top like played songs. Mm. So they're like, right. they're iffy, but they're Radio good. Radio hits. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, next I have Oh No! Exclamation point. By Morena, uh, previously known as Morena and the Diamonds. Never heard. Uh, Never heard. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna write this one down. Too. She's like uh, Polish, maybe. I That's don't know. cool. She's yeah. She's she's somewhere European. Is it Morena like the birth control? M A R I N A Morena Morena. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. No, you're Marina. probably saying it right. I don't know. This is how Marina. I spelled it. I'm probably. I spelled it like. like Morena. YouTube will correct you. Right. Eventually. Well, regardless, <laughs> uh, she's just like goofy and like brings back some good memories more, more than anything. Like, okay. it's just I associate it with some good vibes. Uh, That's always good. Yeah. Songs do that a lot for me. Right. Or sad or bad mm. or at mm-hmm. all. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, segueing from uh, memories, uh, would be. Helena from My Chemical Romance. Oh my gosh, yes. I can't even begin to tell you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I put this one on here over other songs uh, from them just because it stands the test of time and I still put it in playlists to this day. Yeah, uh, that album just, holds up. Baby. As the kids t- say today, it slaps. You know? It slaps. It slaps. It'll slap you straight in your face. And I, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's hardcore. Um, Old school Hollywood. <gasps> by System of a Down. By System of a Down, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. M- Mesmerize was my favorite, well, is my favorite album from yeah. them. Uh, and it was like one of my first albums that I bought in, in Hot Topic when I went to the mall by myself. And I was like, oh. yeah. So anytime I think about it, I think about like me being that horrible little goth kid tr- trying to. Right. Yeah. Trying uh, to be that horrible. But I still love the song, and I still love them. And Surge Tanking is great. Listen to They're me. They're just great. They've... On my last, on my last list, I did. Um... <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Not lost in Hollywood. Bias is my dude. I'm Hollywood. Right now. What? Um. <laughs> Tony Danza stands in line, you know. Is. And I don't understand Stay why. In the sun, I'm about to melt. Right. Like, like, what is it? I don't know. I don't care, but I right. love it. it. I absolutely can't get enough. I can't get enough of it. I'll if I could get fiddle. that tattooed mm-hmm. on my body, it right. would be. The whole album, actually. If yeah. I get that whole album mm-hmm. tattooed on my soul. <laughs> uh, so I could take it with me. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. To yeah. Uh, all right. So next I got Midnight City by M83. Uh, you, it is, it's in, been in commercials and okay. um, movies and stuff, but not to be that guy, but when I was a kid, I, well, I don't know if I say a kid, like 12 or something, I was listening to that with my brother, who was the one who initially got me into music. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did a lot of like techno stuff in like the 2000s, and he was into that, and so uh-huh. they kind of are reminiscent of that. Uh, yeah, so it makes me think of him a lot. Um, but they're newer, right? Sweet. No, they're. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? I don't know. 
I'm thinking. <laughs> so they're old. They're older, like oh. late nineties, two thousands, maybe. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I would have never known that. And when I think of M eighty three, I think of the M eighty. I think is isn't like that like a, a firecracker? Right, or right. Yes. Um. Let's see. Next we have Revenge by Mindless Self Indulgence. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, they make it on the list. Yes. Oh, that is uh, if is one of my top albums, oh. well, and. I love the intro to the song. I love that it's just like fast paced and crazy and it's just like great to jam out to, driving, going really fast. Yeah. Um, can I make one little comment? One comment. I feel Go like ahead. If you like uh, System of a Down and you like mindless self indulgence, or you you would like both, right? Because they're both so random. Mm -hmm. None of their lyrics make any real sense. Mm -hmm. But like they're both amazing and catchy in their own way. Mm -hmm. Mine with self-indulgence is like super like techno fast, like boom, boom, boom. System of Down is like more metal, but like mm -hmm. melodic. Mm -hmm. Anywho, mm -hmm. go on. Uh, let's see. Next I have Bloody Mary by Lady Gaga. Okay. Um, I like the drink. Like, <laughs> talking about drink. Like the, like, the, like the woman. Like, like the woman, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I gotta say, like, I, I love her, and I'm not ashamed to say that. You shouldn't. And it's just one of my favorite songs by her because right. it's like dark and weird, and that's what I tend to go towards. Me too. Yes. Um. Next, I have "Cosmic Love" by Florence, uh, or Florence and the Machine. Florence Machine, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's very delightful. Yes. Yes. So, I, I love. I love her voice. Nice. I think she, out of any modern artist, she has the I don't I don't know, just like the best voice. She she's got the voice of a freaking angel. Right. You know? She's an angel. Uh but yeah. So what was I gonna say about that song? Okay, so I <laughs> when I when I initially listened to uh the album, I think it's Lungs, um I kinda overlooked the song. Mm -hmm. Uh and then my friend who designs firework shows put it in one of his shows and really? like when I watched it because like he records everything oh. I it like actually brought a tear to my eye it was like just really done real really wow. really well um and so I, since then I it just really brings a lot of emotion to me like not even that like that moment was special or anything it's just I don't know it was an appreciation that right. I found in the song wow. um that's amazing next I have Midnight Show by The Killers um, I heard this one. It is on Hot Fuss, their first album. Um, um, so that whole album is actually my top album of all time. I've been listening to it since like it came out, and I remember my brother burning me a copy, and uh, he's like, "Hey, I saw this band the other day," and he was like, "In it, they were somewhere in like Akron," and uh, no way. yeah. So then when the album came out, like he he got it for me, and uh, it was around the time that my grand passed that um, I was listening to them a lot and like I just remember like going through her house and listening to that um, so it like really helped me get through like a tough time because like her, her death was my the first death I experienced in my life um, and I don't it's just it's always been there for me right it's always been something that I can always relate to or feel fine like comfort in back to, yeah. yeah that's wow. pretty sweet that's yeah. respected um, right? and I I I picked that song particularly, um, I because I wanted to, I don't know, shed more light on that song if someone listens to them and they're right. like, All right, we know Bright Mr. Brightside and whatever. Uh, right. All it's just popular. yeah, it's just a, it's more of a dark song. Um, that and a couple other songs on the track actually link together or on the album link together, um, and tell a story about um, a guy murdering his girlfriend and that's one of them. Um, and it's just a really catchy song and I love it. Um, but enough the only thing the only thing that I uh, that I don't like about that album is the, there's one slow song, and it's like like 13 years later, I still don't like it. Right. It's weird. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like uh, it's like, like a filler or something. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Oh, no. Um, and my top song that I'm feeling right now is "Tongue Tied" by Group Love. Oh wow! Okay, I heard that one. That is pretty catchy, dude. It is. I agree 100. percent Yes. Uh, it makes me think of, I don't know, like summers in my early twenties, 
when my friend like gave me that CD and we would jam out to it and I don't know, get in trouble. Right. And, uh, Who doesn't love that? Yeah. And reflecting on that. Right. <laughs> and it still is one of the songs that like I listen to to this day. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. That, that's all I got. That's I think that was ten. That I was it. I love the top ten list. I actually yeah. wrote some songs down. All right. Because he's that darn good. Right. Okay. I'm going to get educated today. 100% educated yeah. on the music world. Right. I hope to inform <laughs> and delight. <laughs> We'll yeah. let you know if anyone sends us any messages about the music you have provided. Okay. Okay. I, I do want to say, I'm sorry to interrupt, no, but we were talking about nonsense, weird kind of stuff with mindless self-indulgence and yeah. System of a Down. Uh, there was a song that I did remove from the list originally uh, that is called Ice God of Hungary. Um, and it's by this, this, this <laughs> band, I guess? Glitter Job. All right. And it's, it was... Glitter Job? Yeah. It was a that glitter awesome. ice god of hungry. Oops, I just put ice hungry. <laughs> <laughs> ice hungry. hungry. Uh, ice god of hungry. But like hungry, the hungry the country, country. yeah. Okay. So like, there's those like uh, bad ad living videos on YouTube, right? And uh -huh. they said something about this fake song in one of them, and someone made a song about it, and this fake oh, band. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. So uh, I'd give That's it a, real than Death Clock from Metalocalypse. Yes, because absolutely. Death Clock's an actual band. Right, they actually are. Um, yeah, give wow. that a give that a listen. I sure will. I hope you do. I'll let you know what I think when I do. You I know? hope you. I want an essay, Stephanie. I will. Stephanie. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll write Just so we're clear. All right. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being on the show. And yeah. Thank you for thanking me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> Hello. Okay, who's up? Um, I guess, do you want me to go? Sure thing. All we'll right. Pass it to the right, to the right. Oh, uh, like passing bread at the table. Bread, we're bread. Woo! We're breaking <laughs> bread. bread. Breaking bread. <laughs> we're not at breaking bread. No, we are. We're not. We are at National Grind. Coffee shop, give it a shot. Yeah. It's in give it a shot of espresso. City. <laughs> Thanks a lot, people. Oh no. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm Alexis, done. please. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, number uno is Bikini Kill. Suck my left one. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. Kathleen doesn't give two hoots. Um, she's saying it how it is yeah. about dudes. She's like, tell me what the F we're doing here. All the boys are acting stupid. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Suck my loved one. And she like, <laughs> like gets so angry. I'm like, yes, I understand completely, Kathleen. And the music, the instruments are just like crazy. These kids don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So they're like doing whatever's in their heart. That's what Bikini Kill is. They're like, we don't care. We're going to make a band. If it sounds good it sounds good if it doesn't we're still gonna make music right so yeah bikini kill rocks and that song is pretty good yeah so check it out if you're a feminist or dudes make you mad sometimes you know <laughs> yeah dudes make yeah you mad. all right listen i'm not gonna lie at this table i'm a fan of Lil peep i don't okay. know Lil if you know peep. him uh, he uh, Gu Gucci or something? Gucci gang? No, don't no. you even say that I'm right sorry. now. It's a little pump, bro. Okay. We don't say his name at the table. I apologize. He's, it's okay. I'm glad you apologized because his name is garbage to me. I'm sorry. I don't know any of it. All I know is Kevin Gates. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for Kevin Gates. Thank you, Kevin Gates. Sweet Lord. As we break right I'm at this crying. table, we yes. thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, but the song is Witch Blades, and I love the rhymes. Uh, Lil Peep can make a great tune. Uh, it gets me all pumped up. Um, again, like the lyrics are like, <laughs> the lyrics are like, Witch Blades, cocaine, goth boy, click, <laughs> make a hoe shake. Who <laughs> says that? But freaking Lil Peep. Lil all right. Peep. He can make the women shake, and I'm like, shake me, boy. Shake me, You know, boy. I just mm -hmm. think he's mm -hmm. great. Like, uh... Yeah. Give it a listen to, please, and thank you. If you like music, it's modern. He did die about two years ago now. Rest in peace at 21. Oh if he was living till this day, I'll tell you this right now, he would be making a lot of influence in the rap game. Just right. a little bit. Maybe not a little bit, a lot. Right. But, yeah. Too much. You got it. <laughs>
All right, number three, Metal Mickey by Suede. Uh, don't know if you guys know. I don't Suede? even know what you're saying. No. No. Are you? Okay. Is... They're a '90s British pop. Okay. Like pop rock, I guess you would say. They have like okay. a '60s like hint to them. Ooh, I love, that. I love '60s. Oh, it's like really groovy. Um, groovy. They're very catchy. Like I could, I could list, literally listen to this song for days. Like the guy, like the lead singer's voice is so magical. I can't even stand it. Like his presence on stage alone, I'm like, get the heck out of here. He owns it. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna sing my heart out to you and embrace everyone, mm -hmm. and I'm like mm -hmm. ready to be embraced. So yeah, <laughs> so sweet. I'm sorry. That was, you were very embrace passionate about that, me. and I appreciate your passion. <laughs> I, I just I love music. No, I love watching people be passionate about things. Me too. Dude. Kevin loves us. I love Kevin. Kevin. I love okay? Kevin too. Love you, He's Kevin. An angel in my life. Stop. Oh, that's I'm so sweet. I mean, I know. But thank you. <laughs> I mean, I know. <laughs> like, duh. <Yeah. laughs> but I am sorry. I'm not too in depth with my list this time. Blah blah blah. Sorry, not sorry. I guess. <laughs> blah blah blah. You know. Right. Um. So my fourth one is Bexy Cutthroat. It's so freaking creepy. He's like a new age rapper. Um. His Gosh. name's Bexy? Yeah, dude. Um, I don't... I, you might like him. I don't know, though. If you don't like him, I will not be offended. Like... Okay. If it's anything oh like gosh. Post Malone... No. Nothing <laughs> like the Post Malone. Oh, I can't get into him, people. Yeah, his rhymes are pretty good. They're... they're. Oh, gosh. I don't even know what to say about it. He's like, shut the lights out, bitch. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you want to shut the lights out? And then... Yeah. He talks about... Like slitting throats, I believe. Like I don't. He, he just That's talks too cool, fast. Dude. But when I hear, I'm like, I like it. All right. All right. It gets me okay. into like a mood. I want to move my hands around. I'm like, <laughs> and yeah, then stabbing. Boy. Yeah. I want to move my hands around your neck. <laughs> talks about sweet <laughs> So yeah. No, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> but listen to this. Number five. New Radicals, um, Someday Will Know. Listen, I listened to this song this week. It's from literally the late 90s. I only know one song by New Radicals, and it's You Get What You Give. You Get What You Give, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to press this and play it. My right. Lord, I've been singing it for days. So I'm like, you know what, someday we will climb a mountain. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the mountain, I think. It's very emotional. You can tell this guy is, like, totally heartbroken over his ex-lover. Like, oh, over two years he's like someday we'll know <laughs> our love will climb a mountain blah 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 <laughs> um, and he's like I love it <laughs> well, I'm a fan so far yeah um, I get anxious a little bit when I talk on here. No, I do. But too. Um, I get it. I'm like, uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> My brain's not working right. <laughs> but um, give it a listen to because. What did you, you know, say the song is called? I apologize. Oh, it's okay. New radicals. Someday we'll know. Why I was never meant for you. And he's like, you know what? I'll yeah. know one day mm -hmm. because there has to be day. a reason. And it's like, recently, I'm like, my lord. Things happen for a reason, I guess, you know, unless, I don't know, the gods are like, no, and I'm like, yeah, and they're Joke's like, Joke's on you, nothing no. happens for a reason. I know, <laughs> for real though. No, I, I do, I do think that a lot of what goes on happens for some, some reason. There's a, there's a lesson to be learned somewhere. Right. I, I don't know how far that extends, but who knows um, about anything? Right. No one, literally. <sighs> Number <laughs> that got really philosophical very fast. Dude, can I say George Michaels is on the radio right now? Dude, George and Michael, he's gorgeous. To love him he, from what she's told me. Fantastic musician. I was where did you go, George? I, you need to be making some songs, being he's like a music producer. Life. Wait, did he he's die? Dead, he man. Died. Oh my god, where yeah. the hell have I been? Oh, How did he die? He had like um, I'm like really upset right now. It was real sudden. Like, his, like, his husband or his boyfriend came out and was like, yeah, he died. And they're like, what? It was like, boom, boom. Well, there's your homework. Like, had AIDS or cancer. So That's freaking something. terrible. Rest in peace. Sorry, no. I feel very disrespectful at this table. That's okay. All right. 
No, you did not know. Right. Like, the fact that you offered an apology. Right. I feel bad, though. No, you, that's fine. That's fine. That's but fine. <laughs> you have not done any disrespect to his memory. Right. Well, thank you, Kevin, for approving. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Number six, uh, Grimes Genesis. Very magical. It has, like, a Korean sound to Grimes it. Grimes is... Uh, shut up. What? Do you know of the Grimes? Is that, like, uh... Elon Musk's ex-wife or something? Ooh, the heck is that? Oh, but no. I don't know. Is it is it a chick? It's a chick. Yeah. Blonde hair. She's from like Canada or something, right? <laughs> yeah, I believe yeah. so. She used Dude. to have like own chickens and stuff. Yeah. And like she learned to do the keyboard by herself. Okay. She didn't go to like music school. And she's, she's like, like weird though, right? She is hecka weird. Okay, so like, the dude that did the Teslas, man. No. Yeah, he was dating her for like uh, years. Yes. Yeah, he People change. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Money is money. I don't know what I'd do if I found a guy with a bunch of money like that. That What'd is true. Do? I mean, money is not everything, but it's like she. Wow. I mean, it's like, wow. I don't know. I'm I didn't know that. Know. Thank you for that fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did not know that either. For oh, yeah. sure. You are welcome, yes. <laughs> uh, that, yeah. I didn't realize that until you said it. <laughs> but her lyrics are very sweet, very relatable. Um, when you listen to her, you just are like, little girl, I love you. Even though she's not a little girl, I believe she might be in her early 30s, but... Very sweet voice. Watch the music video. It's pretty cool. Like, she is a total weirdo, but I'm like, that's mm -hmm. what makes me love her because she doesn't care. She does what she wants yeah. in her music and what she does as a musician. I highly respect her, you know? God bless her. God bless her soul. So, number seven, Blur, the Universal. Ooh. All right, okay. Uh, you know, okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this makes me feel pretty confident. All yeah. right. And this song has like an orchestra and it's already like kick ass. He's like, yes, we're mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. we're blur, get used to it. Okay. Um Durr, we're blur. <laughs> it's um pretty inspiring. Like, uh I believe he's trying to how should I say, empower you as a person in this song. Like right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm frozen I mean, up. No. Like, uh, I don't know, inspire you, like, to, to get out there right. and, like, do stuff. Yeah, to do this. Do what you want. <laughs> like, you take want. a chance. Yeah, dude, dude this is my chance, dude. Right? We're taking a chance. We're yes. taking chances from here to there to Dang. everywhere, from Tomorrow. here to freaking... Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas. Further than Texas, though. But don't stop in Texas. Tomorrow's your lucky day. It really can happen. It really, really can happen. I'm like, oh my gosh, if Damon Alburn says it can happen for me, it can happen for you, too. It will happen. You know? But it is a very beautiful song. The music video is, like, classy but creepy. Because they do, like, a clockwork orange type of deal spin oh, on it. Yeah. You know? Right. Not the full-on situation, but mm -hmm. you can definitely tell. Right. Um, number eight. Uh, the Pixies, uh, Bone Machine. The bass, and, <laughs> the bass and drums alone are like epic. When that drummer goes, I'm like, dude, I love you, don't know you, but you're like, oh, get me all excited. I just want to like burst out of my body right now. I want to get in the universe and just freak out. And Kim Deal rocks that song like... I, I, I have no words. I've listened to them since I was a teenage gal, okay? Like, if you want some rock and roll alternative, get mm -hmm. into the Pixies mm -hmm. because you will not regret it. Right. You know, um, what is it? What album is it? God damn it. Don't listen to me. But listen to all the <laughs> albums because all of it is good. Yeah. Where is my mind? Obviously, mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. knows oh, that song, God. so yeah. don't even throw that at me, people. Where is my right. mind? I know where my mind is. Right. It's in my freaking head. Right. You don't need to tell them <laughs> it's where it's at. It's in his brain, dog. Right. All right. Number nine, Sonic Youth, uh, Bull in the Heather. Oh, my God. Bull in the Heather. Such a creepy song. I know, dude. I love it. used it. to play in Starbucks, dog. Really? Yeah. It was I on probably the know. 90s part two playlist. Okay. Summer. Two. Yep. Uh, yeah. 
Kim Kim Gordon rocks the song. She's she doesn't do a lot of like how should I say? She she's very monotone with her voice. Yeah, it's you know? it's definitely outside of their norm. Right. Um it's an experience. I definitely recommend checking out. Yeah, for sure. It'll change everything you know about Sonic Youth if you even know who they are. Okay. And if you don't know them, I'm really upset with you because you need to I, get I know it. that I do know something. But That's I don't. all that matters. I, I just can't think. You know. I know. I know something about something somewhere yeah. is existing. Okay. Uh, well, that's a start. And that's yeah. all I'm. You don't know, let it That's all there. I need. Do I pen on my face? You do. <laughs> I I want to say it, but I don't want to say it on the podcast. Uh, you, it's on your cheek. Don't even worry about it. it it's looks fine. Great. You know what? Perfect line. <laughs> of pen. There's nothing you can do um, to make okay. you less perfect. <laughs> Kevin just loves me for me, and I love Kevin for Kevin. We haven't known each other for very long, but no. we connected as people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. Number 10. Mm-hmm. I'm about dumb here. Uh, yeah. David Bowie, Trent Reznor, mm-hmm. Afraid of Americans. If you I'm not going to lie. Um, I've never heard uh, of this one. I don't know that. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What? Trent you? Reznor. Trent and Reznor and, and Bowie. Craig and Bowie. They collaborated I'm sorry, I don't... in 1999. That's amazing. That's amazing. Listen. I didn't know that you were. I don't know that you're saying that. It's true. <laughs> Listen, look it up on the old YouTube. You're gonna be very impressed because wow. they they mix so well. Like it's so. I don't even know. It's just two people just making love in a song. I'll mm-hmm. tell you that right now. And it just mm-hmm. like they made a beautiful baby out of it. That's what you got. <laughs> like baby. a music uh, it's, baby. It's, it's so musical. Genius baby. Right. And I'm afraid of Americans. I'm afraid of the world. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, end of the story. People. I'm afraid of everybody. I'm afraid of myself. Dude. Me too. Truer words have never been spoken. The only thing I'm not afraid of on this earth is my sweet and my beautiful number. You know, I, I feel that. And that's the first time I've ever mentioned you on this podcast. Are you serious? I don't believe that. I'm serious. Have I ever Second time. Has it been real? Second, because okay. we did on the baby podcast. Liar. Episode because oh, you like Nala Marie. Nala Marie's my angel, but we'll hear more about her as time goes on. That's my top ten. Woo-hoo. I love that top ten. Love that top ten. Um, okay, well, I hope everyone checks those songs out. So we're we're up to twenty songs for you people. I hope you've got your notepads out. Um, speaking of notepads, Kevin has mine and he's doodling on it, and my list is underneath. I love what he's got going on here. It's a face with like a bunch of duct tape over the mouth. It's, it reminds me of, uh, it's going sideways, it? sideways, straight across. It's and very like, horror esque. Bro, um, we'll put a picture of that up <laughs> for the podcast when we upload it, so get ready for that. Sorry, I took your notebook. That's totally fine. All right, here we go. Number one for me, Reputations on the Line by Kevin Gates. Because mm-hmm. um, it's like, bro, it is at all times, basically. Mm-hmm. It's like, you gotta watch your mouth, you gotta watch your steps, <laughs> and you gotta freaking, because you got a reputation. People either hate you or they love you. Mm-hmm. Dude, and, that's totally true. And it's such a catchy song. Um, if you don't listen to it, that's whatever, but you're missing out. Anywho, number two, You're Dead. And I don't know if I'm saying this right, by Norma Tanega. Tanega? At least you're trying. This yep. song is older than dirt. Um, no. I want to say it's from the 60s. No. Um, seriously. Um, I'm sorry, say this again. What's yes. the, the title of the song again, please? You're Dead. Ooh. You're Dead. You're Dead. Okay. Um, it's so good. I feel like it's definitely ahead of its time. Um... It's the intro for a TV show that I can't remember what it is right now, but it has something to do with death vampires. Ooh, creepy. Yes. I'll think of that later. Anywho, uh, number three, God's Gonna Cut You Down. This song's oh, originally mm-hmm. by Johnny heck. Cash, mm-hmm. but Marilyn mm-hmm. Manson did this song, and oh, God almighty, it is so good. It's, I'm not gonna lie, I... I heard this version first uh, about a year ago, and I find it better than the original because it's just like, you know, it's Manson. He makes everything better. He's an angel. I love him. Um, I hope to meet him someday. Uh, Anywho, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, number four is Blasphemous Rumors by Depeche Mode. Mm-hmm. And this song is so good. 
good. Um, the beat is just awesome. I feel like what they're saying is like super crazy weird. Uh, it's pretty dark, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very, very dark kind of story. Um, he's basically just talking, you know, religion, things like that, but in a really cool way. Definitely check that one out. Um, number five is Love My Way by The Psychedelic First. Did love The Psychedelic First? Me too. I don't know what you're saying right now. <gasps> oh what, my. What, are, what is this from? Uh, it's 70s, old. 60s, 70s. 70s. Um, okay. Very good. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. And they were in Pittsburgh last year, and I'm mad that I missed them. Oh um, definitely check that song out because, yeah, I don't know, Love My Way, you know what I'm saying? Number six. Unbroken by Pantera. Pantera um, rocks. This song is so good. I've listened to it so many times. It's unbelievable. And I think that we've all experienced being broken at some point or another. And it's just so relatable. Um, and the whole, I don't know, like vibe of the song is just like, I know what you're saying. I don't know. It's so crazy. It's like you wrote the song, but he wrote the song right. for you. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Number seven is 39 by Design by Drab Majesty. Did Drab Majesty. Yeah. If you've never heard of Drab Majesty, they are absolutely amazing. They're kind of on the same spectrum as like a 80s or 90s like new wave British pop band. Um, but like new and improved, of course, because they're newer and their sound is absolutely amazing. It's very kind of, I don't want to say techno, like electronic kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but they have that new wave sound, and boy, do they do it well. Um, so check them out. Um, number eight. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I love this song it's so, so good. much. Yeah, I 100% agree. As soon as I heard it, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, so good. Um, number eight is Familiar by Agnes Obel. I want to say that's how you say her name. I don't know. Um, I got this song off of the show Dark. That's a Netflix original. <gasps> Bro. Watch, Watch Dark. Watch Dark. <laughs> Watch Dark. 100%. If you like time travel, it's, it is a German show. It's, but it's German. It's amazing. Um, it's just, I can't even get into it. Uh, just watch it. Uh, and love it. And there is a new season out for it, so. And if you watch the first season, do it. Watch the second. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this song is like super cool. Her voice is amazing. And then there's. It's like there's the first, like first, and the second one, it sounds like, I'm like, is this a man singing? And if it is, he sounds really strange. But I found out, because I looked it up, because I'm like, I want to know who's singing this song with her. Um, it's her, but her vo they distorted her voice. Oh. So it sounds super, like, weird, but cool. Like, I don't know, it's addicting to listen to, honestly, because it's just like, your brain's trying to figure out what you're hearing, right. but it's like, it can't. It's like, is it a girl? Is it a boy? It's neither. It's like, I don't know what it is. Like, what it is. Cool. Um, so definitely check that one out. Um, number nine is Sweet Leaf by Black Sabbath. The song is so cool. It starts out with like him coughing from like obviously taking a hit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's just like, yes, it is a Sweet Leaf. And mm -hmm. we love mm -hmm. you. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, and I love Ozzy Osbourne. I will always love him. I love his whole dang family. I love Sharon. I love, I love Sharon. Kelly. Like, come on, Jack, you're cool, but you're like somewhere else. In Doing his own thing. Isn't he exactly. an entrepreneur? I think or whatever. So. I don't know. He's, He's like, doing how something. How could you be if your dad's Ozzy Osbourne? You right. know what I mean? Um, he kind of had his life set up for him. Yeah. But, um, anywho, that entire album is just absolutely amazing. Um, they all are? Question mark? Um, or exclamation point, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, number 10 is Murderers and Robbers, and I definitely Ooh, spelled Murderers wrong. It right murders. Now. murderers and Robbers by okay. Project Pat. Love okay. Um, Project Pat, we mentioned him on the episode. Yeah, okay. Like um, oh my god, I can't get over it. He's one of the realest rappers in the game. I don't know where he went, but no. he was. Uh, next to, I feel like Kevin Gates has just totally like picked up where he left off, if you will, kind of thing. Like, um, none of what they say is repeated. It's just like real, it's raw, it's 
just it's amazing and the beads are just like yes mm -hmm. they're stuck in the head for the rest of your days and that's right where you want them right because they're so good um but yes i will say it again i said it on the last episode with caleb um listen to the entire album murderers and robbers front to back dude like to back. it's so good um you won't regret it and I'll be proud of you. you, <laughs> <laughs> you got to get educated on what real rap is. Right. And it's like, you'll feel like you've been living on the streets, I don't know, selling drugs. Right. I mean, that's just like... Lovely. I mean, I do... I feel like that. Because I do that. <laughs> I so. do that. <laughs> this is the first time well, I've been indoors in a while. Okay. That's, <laughs> we're going to get him some help. Uh, <laughs> I have a GoFundMe. Uh... <laughs> Check it out. I mean, he meant to say, go find me. Go find me. Go find me. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> He's in dire straits. <laughs> <laughs> Not the band. Um, but, yeah, so that was my 10. I hope you loved them. And, because I know I do. I plan to love them. Because yeah. I don't know most of them. Okay. But. You will soon. I will look into them. Yes. I'd say about 75% of the music I get from you I like. Oh, gosh. That's a compliment. I know that you don't like my metal. But I don't, fun. but there's a, a few songs that are in some playlists. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't remember what that one is, but he talks about like... Uh, Hostage by Chelsea Yeah, Grant. that one. Okay. That's to my, my top metal song of Ooh. you, of yours. I That's apologize. That is a compliment. Do not, do not apologize. This is a, a real uh, podcast experience. Whatever happens, <laughs> happens. I've okay. a couple things. Out I'm here in. and there on some, right. but for the most part, I just post it literally as is because I want you to know, like we're not like super fake, right. no. editing everything. Okay, okay. Things out. It's like, dude, this is real life, right? And it's just like we want you to hear our real life. We're not I trying mean, to be like clean, the, and perfect, and because polished. we aren't. Mm -hmm. uh, life is rough, and life if is this rough. recording is rough, and you don't like it, too so bad. Good. The same but the podcast you do for you. Like it, mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love our supporters. Love you so much. Like, seriously. Kisses. But we get a lot. <laughs> yes. Kisses through the microphone. Just kiss kiss you through the phone. <laughs> 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 what? I'm not kidding. Isn't that a song? Really oh my god, good. you're right. It's from like. Yeah, early 2000s. Yeah. Isn't that like the Chris Brown or something? Oh my god. Oh, it's Kiss Me Through the Phone by. So, Soldier oh, Boy? Soldier Boy? It is. <gasps> then I love like, uh, Soldier Boy. Every time someone say. says yeah, I think of yeah, trick yeah. Yeah, trick. Hey, Soldier Boy. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I like, I don't know, I'm a rap girl, I guess. I'm a it's rapper. weird that you go from rap to metal. I mean, literally. I don't want to say it's weird. I apologize for saying that it's weird. No, it's okay. It's very you. It might be weird. It's I'm very, very you, random though. person. Yeah. You never know what to expect from me, and guess what? I don't even know what to expect mm -hmm. from me. When I surprise myself daily. I would say the same, yeah. About yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, you <laughs> surprise me daily. You surprise me daily. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but that's how you just have to live. If your life is predictable, you need to start changing things. Boring. Mm -hmm. um, because that's just not fun. Could also, you guys imagine working in a in an office? No, I no. thought I thought I was thinking dash. about like I, I remember thinking that as a, thinking about that as a kid, right. and like it like gave me anxiety. Right. Thinking about doing what my dad was doing. I think of uh, yeah, my dad works in like cubicles. Like it's yeah. like yes. oh my god, I literally lose like my freaking mind. office space. Oh, I was literally just yeah. thinking of office space. Like I was perfect. just gonna convert. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, like, mm, I would die. If you could move your desk over there. He's like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Looking through a pair of magnifying glasses. Oh, basically. guy. It's like, what a dude. What a dude. Um, definitely a good movie, though. Mm -hmm. Check that movie out. Mm -hmm. You know what? This isn't a new, new idea, but kind of. We thought about doing uh, episodes like Total Tunes, but with TV shows. I think we should do it with movies. I think we should also do one. Yeah, yes, that'd be good. Like, I mean, just do do it with me. Not okay. that, not that <laughs> I'm being, not that I'm parting, not that I'm part of your podcast now. I no, think that yeah. you should invite I me. I definitely to do that. want you on future episodes. Okay. Um, just because 
I like uh, I like you guys. We like you too. Duh. Cool. We, your energy is it makes my energy smile. Right. I feel like our energies feed off of each other. <laughs> I'm feeding off of. We're like your a, is that like a symbiotic? Like our energies are just like. Thank people. It's constant. It's constant. Yeah. Instead of being drained, I am energized. Right. Like and I'm like a battery on a charger right, right. now. I am the energizer bunny. Listen, going. I'm going. For future reference, people, we do not want negativity on our show. No. Right. No. If you're gonna be no. a negative Nancy, you're getting kicked off. Right. We don't like right. Nancys. No, I don't like people named Nancy, actually. <laughs> Not to be negative or negative Nancy, but I've had a bad experience with Nancy a few too many times. Oh you know what? Like, You're right. Yeah. I'm just I, saying. Honestly, it's not the Karens. Time, I don't even know a single Nancy personally. Me either. And I'm thanking God for that. Right. <laughs> they're trouble. They are trouble. I, don't know. I figured they there was a Nancy. Be. They're not negative Nancys. They're trouble Stranger Nancys. Things? And guess what? Didn't she die? She got eaten. She got eaten. Swimming pool. Uh, yeah. got eat. I've yeah. never seen that shit. <gasps> so was like, rah, 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 rah. Right. Uh, and then she's like, you know what, Nancy? You're done. Done We don't like you. <laughs> and yeah, that's where her story ended. So That is where it ended. There you go, Nancy. Sorry about it. Yeah. You're dead. Actually, no. I'm not sorry. If they're not sorry, they wrote that in the movie. Or no. The TV show. And her character was super prude anyway. Oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway. And just, no. Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I sound like a valley girl. You do. Anywho. Um, I promise I'm not. <laughs> All She's right, far well, from it. I'm a valley girl. Uh, well... I think it's time to sign off because I think they're closing up shop. So they are. They well. are. There's literally no one else in, in here <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right. Well, um, check out National Grind. By the way, they yeah. sell coffee. Mm -hmm. They sell bananas, and <laughs> some bagels, and they make their own food. This guy. What's and your the name? The barista is amazing. Brady. 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 Can make yeah. A darn good drink. Right. And mm -hmm. Steph and him connected. So right. come on in, have a chit chat with him. He's dairy free and he's vegetarian. So we got talking on that. Yeah, if you want to speak to him about it, get in here. Yes. Get in and check it out. Get in. Please. Get on. Support your local businesses, y'all. Support. Support your yeah. businesses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Support your local businesses. Because if you did, that would be nice. Exactly. Um, I can hack them all like pumped preach. up right now. Sister. Right. Thank you. We are, we're in church right now. Bring it to church. Bring it. Bring it on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's a super cool coffee shop. We know you Elwoodians are listening to this podcast. We freaking Get know. your rear ends in here and talk to Brady. Yes. Um, but yeah. So, uh, you'll be hearing from us shortly, shortly, as usual. Hopefully. And we have a lot of new, exciting episodes uh, for you all to look forward to. And they just shut the open sign off, so we're out of here. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. And until Thanks next time. Thanks for having time, me. Yeah. Adios. Bye.